What up everyone? Welcome to my first video about how to learn languages as fast as possible. My name is Nadav Herman and today I'm gonna to be breaking down for you guys five ways that help me learn any language as fast as possible. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with a little bit of a show off and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how many languages I can speak. Hablo un poco español porque viajé por América Latina durante seis meses. Parlo un poco de italiano porque he levarato en Italia por tres meses. Notice how I do like this when I speak Italian. Cazzo! Ich spreche in Deutsch, weil ich hat in Wien gearbeitet und jetzt ich rede auch ein bisschen Schweizerdeutsch, weil ich wohne in der Schweiz. Ich spreche in Wien, das ist das Vater Emscheli, ich habe mich und ich habe in Israel. Ich spreche ein kleines bisschen in Irland, um das ich ein Jahr in Amsterdam gewohnt habe. Ich spreche ein bisschen Portugiesisch, ich habe viele Freunde in der Brasil. Ich spreche ein bisschen Arabisch, weil ich ein bisschen Freunde von allen Menschen in der Welt habe. Ich spreche auch ein bisschen mehr Französisch, weil ich habe in der Schweiz gewohnt habe. Did you notice how French people always do like, uh, like when you ask a French person, excuse me, do you know how do I get to the main station? The main station? So anyway, learning languages has been by far one of my biggest passions. I just always felt like if I put the time, the work and the motivation to it, I can learn any language that I want. So right before we dive into the five tips that helped me learn so many languages in less than five years, I'm just gonna share with you guys a little bit of my story and how I even came to learning so many languages. In September of 2014, I left my home country and moved to Amsterdam. I got accepted to a sales job in a company that had shops in Amsterdam's most famous shopping streets. At this point, I already knew some Spanish from backpacking in South America, but working in one of the most famous shopping streets in the world with so many different people from so many different countries has made me realize how important languages are. So what I did, I started picking up some sentences in Dutch that would help me with my most common client, which would be a Dutch person. In the meantime, I also started picking up some sentences in um, Russian, Serbian, Polish, Ukrainian, Japanese, Korean, Chinese, Danish, Swedish, Tagalog, Thai, Malay, you name it. I wanted to know a sentence in every language possible. I even learned a few uh, sentences in Hindi, Turkish, Urdu. Urdu is the language that is spoken around Afghanistan and Pakistan, I'm not entirely sure. Farsi. And I even learned how to say Fawaka. Fawaka is actually a common greeting uh, between the people of Suriname. For those of you who don't know Suriname, it's a small country in the north of South America, right next to British Guyana, if I'm not mistaken. So up until 1975, Suriname has actually been a Dutch colony. How do, do you say Surinamese or Surinamians? Anyway, the whole language thing started as a way for me to connect with my clients better. And because my clients were from a different country, literally every time I would approach someone, I had to kind of develop this skill of knowing at least a sentence or two in every language. So tip number one about learning languages is write it down. So what do I mean by writing it down? I started notes. I would literally start notes on my phone with the headline Dutch or German or Greek or Swahili or whatever. And I would just write a few sentences. So as I was writing things down, I saw an immediate improvement in my ability to remember things. Now, what started off as simple notes on my phone quickly moved into notebooks where I would just write everything I want to know. So when I got to Italy, I had the same job I had in Amsterdam in sales and I was trying to sell to people in English. Now, unfortunately, when I was trying to sell in English to Italians, the usual comment I would get would be Non parlo inglese, cazzo! Which translates to I don't speak English. Penis. On my first day in Italy, I sat down with a colleague of mine, a big shout out to you Titus by the way. He was a native speaking Italian or almost a native speaking Italian. Anyway, my colleague helped me a lot by simply translating my entire sales pitch from English to Italian. Now what happened from this was two things. First thing, I could have actually worked and I could have actually made some sales. The second thing that happened was that I actually learned two to three hundred words that I was using for my sales pitch. Even though I was just memorizing them off a paper in order to sell stuff, I actually came into the understanding that, hey, I actually know how to say that and that and that. And I actually found out that I can speak some Italian after three months. So anyway, my first tip for you guys, seriously, write it down. It helps a lot. How do I recommend you guys to actually do that? Think about what you always need to use. So for example, if you're going to travel in Germany next year, think about how are you going to tell your story in a few sentences. For example, Oh, guten Tag, ich heiße Greg, 
Ich komme von Kalifornien. Ich werde reisen in Deutschland in der nächsten Monat. If you're going to South America, learn how to say a few sentences. Me llamo María. Yo soy de Texas. Yo vine aquí para viajar por el próximo cuatro meses. Now, I have to say my grammar might be shit. Uh, my pronunciation might be shit. The way I put in the sentence might be completely incorrect. But I get my message across and people um, would understand me in Spanish, Italian, German, French, and all the languages I showed off earlier. My next tip for you guys is actually to smash the like button. If you didn't smash the like button until now, please do it. It helps me a lot. I can honestly say that if I would know the situation in Italy with English is quite difficult, I would definitely start with Pimsleur. And that brings me to my second tip, Pimsleur. So what is Pimsleur? So Pimsleur speaking is actually a method developed by linguistic Paul Pimsleur. So how it actually works, Pimsleur is actually recorded lessons in which the narrator would say a sentence in the target language and then repeat it in English. Now what you need to do, you need to simply listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. I don't know why Pimsleur is so efficient, but I've been listening to three parts of Pimsleur speaking German, three parts of Pimsleur speaking Spanish, and yeah, you can find Pimsleur basically for almost every language. So you can have Pimsleur speaking Japanese, Pimsleur speaking Russian, Pimsleur speaking Chinese, French. I'm actually gonna drop a link in the description for Pimsleur and for as little as 99.95 you guys can start learning a language today. The structure of Pimsleur goes like that. So basically you have um, three levels for every language. So you'd have like a French one, French two, for French three, for example. And in each level, you're gonna have about 25 lessons or 20 lessons. And each lesson is 30 minutes long. Now what happens is when I was listening to actually 60 lessons in German or 60 lessons in Spanish, I actually ended up listening to 30 hours of a guided Spanish slash German course. I don't know what about you guys, but after I'm listening to 30 hours of a language course, I'm gonna know some shit. One of the things that really helped me stay persistent with um, Pimster was actually deleting all the music from my phone. So back in the days, back in the days, God, I'm old. Back in the days, I didn't really had an unlimited internet, so I could only listen to whatever I have on my phone. So what I was doing, I was erasing all of the music from my phone. And the only thing I would have would be actually Pimsleur speaking Spanish. So what happened was when I was in South America, I ended up taking buses that would be between 17 to 24 hours sometimes. And I would literally just listen to Spanish this entire time. So as I was getting off the bus, I already knew like way more Spanish than when I got on it. Luckily, the years have passed. And I think it's safe to say that nowadays, most of us have unlimited internet. Which brings me to my next tip, which would be Duolingo. So I'm assuming most of you guys actually know Duolingo. It's a super fun app that you can download from the App Store or Google Play or whatever. You can choose whatever language you want. I think they have like at least 50 languages there or something. How it will work in the beginning, they would just show you like some pictures of stuff and then you have to match it to the word or they'll like show you a sentence with a blank word. And in general, they would give you a very good jumping board for whatever language you're trying to learn. Nowadays, when I'm trying to learn German, I'm playing at least two levels of Duolingo every day. I know it's not a lot, but I figured it's a good way to expand my vocabulary. It's quite fun, it's quite easy. You can do it when you're on the bus, when you're in the train, when you're waiting for something. You can even use it while you're in the bathroom. I know you guys use your phone in the bathroom. Stop that, you're gross. One significant thing that I personally think Duolingo is lacking is grammar. I would never be able to understand the grammar of German by only playing Duolingo or even by playing Duolingo and listening to Pimsleur. Which brings me to my next tip, which is italki. So what is italki? Italki is a website or an app where you can basically find a private tutor for whatever language you're trying to learn. So a big shout out for my language teacher, Karina, which I found on italki. I've been with her for about a month and a half now. We've been doing daily lessons every morning. The lessons can go for as little as $10 for languages like uh, German, French, Italian, and for as little as three to $4 when it comes to languages like Chinese or Arabic. 
Anyway, I'm gonna drop a link in the description for italki as well. If you guys sign up using my link, both you guys and me are getting some credit in order to use for our next lessons. Now my next and last tip I actually found recently to be super efficient and this is actually watching TV. I know what? Watching TV? Yeah, but basically what I found is that instead of watching TV in English, which I did for the last 20 years, what I do, I just change the audio language to German. I can do it on Netflix because I'm here in Switzerland. I'm not sure if you're in a different country, you might need to get a proxy or what, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, if you can actually watch TV in the language you're trying to learn, it will improve your language a lot. One of the things that really blew my mind when I got to Switzerland, I remember meeting this woman, she was I think from Cuba, and this woman could speak fluent German. She was here for about seven years. And I was asking her, hey, can you give me some tip? Like, how did you learn German so well? So apparently watching cartoons was the thing that made her speak German fluently. Now, I'm not saying that you guys will watch one or two cartoons in the language you want to learn and you end up knowing it, but it definitely couldn't hurt to give some more time for your brain to get used to the language and to actually hear things that you're trying to learn, hear some repetitive words that you're trying to get into your head. It cannot hurt and it's honestly been very helpful for me. Let me know in the comments below which language you guys are learning at the moment and which method is the most efficient for you personally. Don't forget to drop a like button and subscribe for more if you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna make more videos about languages, about motivation, self-improvement. Thank you very much for being with me. My name is Nadav Herman.